Hey, I know it's been a while since my last Crash Course debunking video, but I have made a few TikTok videos, and so I am going to upload a compilation of those TikTok videos. Enjoy, if you do enjoy them, uh, make sure to check out my U or my TikTok account. It is ADHD underscore projects. I will link it in the description below. So I've got to believe that the Earth spins under bullets that are in the air for seconds and not under hot air balloons, blimps, or planes. What he's talking about here is the Coriolis effect. This is how the spin of the Earth affects objects on the Earth. Yes, snipers have to take this into account when shooting east to west or west to east, but never north to south. And on shots over a thousand meters, meaning that most snipers will never even account for this. Plus, a sniper being off by an inch or two is a lot more than a blimp being off by an inch or two. Original NASA photo of Mars. Bulgaria. And this is just an example of Gotta Light a Flurf. That is not an official NASA picture at all. They are just the same picture edited to look red. It's not even a good edit. They tried this a while ago with pictures of Greenland, but that was easily debunked because they're just not NASA pictures. And you can look at NASA's website and find out for yourself. Gotta Light a Flurf. Flat Earth is dumb, huh? But four of the most powerful organizations in the world have it as their logo. It is dumb, and that's not a Flat Earth map. That is an equidistant map with the North Pole at the center. This is to show unity among the nations, and to show that one nation is not more important than the other. The Mercator projection makes the countries all distorted. For instance, Greenland if you took it and put it over other countries, would be a lot smaller. You can see the same down here for Antarctica. And traditionally, the maps in America put America on the left, while other maps in other parts of the countries will put them more on the left. So the azimuthal projection maps are used to promote unity across the nations. Gotta light a flurf. And there's more proof that flat earthers don't know what they're talking about. This phenomenon is called lens compression. I recently saw a photography video about this very thing. These two people are the same person standing in the exact same place. The only difference is, one, the camera is pretty close, two, the other is further away. That is exactly what we're seeing here, top and bottom. The bottom one, the camera is fairly close to the earth. And this top one, the camera is very far away. And this is something that we can easily demonstrate by using a desktop globe. I took these two pictures with my desktop globe. Yet looking at them, they look wildly different and they look like their scale is different. Here is the close-up picture. And here is the further away picture that has been zoomed in. I see this brought up all the time by Flat Earthers as proof that NASA's lying to us, but this is easily proven if you have just a desktop globe and a camera. Gotta light a flurf. In my mind. Insert cash or select payment type. Use pin pad to complete transaction. Like that Neil Armstrong guy. Have you seen him on the talk shows? Neil Armstrong? Do you mean the first man to walk on the moon? Talk about a fish story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> If you're going to try and use Jim Carrey as a source of truth, you should probably watch the rest of the interview before you upload a snippet of it. That is their mark. These, these three marks here are actual coordinates. It's a map of their solar system. Wow. Uh, can I... Do you have a pen, a magic marker of some yeah, kind? Like... Just uh, a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, big, thick one would be good. Yeah, okay, right here, now, see, if you join the coordinates, you start here, and you just start joining these coordinates like this, yes. you'll see that it's almost a perfect triangle, okay? Now, if you follow this side of the triangle up, that you will eventually realize where the location of the space station is. that aliens are moving and living among us! I'm sorry, Jay. No, I'm no, sorry. I, I could see that, how that would affect your Christmas. I made, I made that whole thing up. What? Uh, I'm sorry.
I guess I just wanted to seem interesting. I, I guess there's a, there's a real danger of that on this show. But there's a know? pressure. Uh, well, yeah, people come yeah, out sure. and they just, they've run out of anecdotes, you know, yeah. and, they, and, uh, and they just start making stuff up. Yeah. Like that Neil Armstrong guy. Have you seen him on the talk shows? Neil Armstrong? Do you mean the first man to walk on the moon? Talk about a fish story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, and they're buying it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now ask, does it sound like he's being serious or using sarcasm?